today's uh, service. Thank you very much for connecting. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, you're welcome to today's prayer. I believe the Lord is going to bless you. Today is Wednesday and this is the day that the Lord has made. I believe that the hand of the Lord will touch you from wherever you are in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Michael and it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to be here today and to be praying with you in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, today, I want to thank God for the one-minute prayer. I believe it's been a blessing, and I believe by, by the grace of God, your door shall be opened, your gates shall open for you in Jesus' mighty name. And I believe in a very special way that you'll have your own keys. You know, what it means to have keys, personally, it, to me, it means you'll have, when, when, uh, when pastor talks about uh, a week of keys, to me, uh, what I learned is uh, that God will give you your own keys, like keys for your own house. God will give you keys for your own car. God will give you keys for your own business. Child of God, this week something good will happen to you and you'll have your own keys in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And I want uh, still to thank people that have been standing with us. People that have been sending money, may the Lord bless you. Thank you very much for standing with us. Thank you very much for supporting us. Our partners, you're very, very special. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. People that watch uh, service on, uh, on Sunday on NBS, you're very special. May the Lord bless you. So today, still we are going to pray as we are possessing our gates, as we are partaking our blessing of the week in Jesus' mighty name. And I believe the same anointing that is operating in this place, will come to you from wherever you are in Jesus' mighty name and you'll be blessed in the name of the Lord. So let us pray. If, you, if you're with your family, you can join hands. If you have a group, you can welcome them. Please uh, connect and, uh, wh what is it? Share so that many people shall be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. So I'm going to lead you in a prayer as our pastor comes in to lead us and to speak to us. And I believe today it's going to be so powerful in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for these, your people, that we've been with this entire week. You've spoken a word this week that we are going to possess our gates. You're going to open doors for us. It is my prayer that it shall come to pass that woman, to that person is watching right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, may you open doors for them. May you touch somebody. May you give somebody keys in Jesus' mighty name. May you give somebody a spirit of discernment like you've been speaking to us. The Bible says that Paul Paul was able to discern that the spirit that was speaking on this girl was not a godly spirit, was not a divine spirit from God, but it was an evil spirit. It is my prayer in the name of Jesus that you'll give somebody a spirit of discernment to know which kind of person is speaking true words in the name of Jesus, to know which pastor to follow, to know which prophet is a prophet of God in the name of Jesus. Father, it is my prayer that you'll hand somebody keys this week, keys for the car a house, keys for a business. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says in the book of in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, that Cyrus, my anointed one, I will go before you and open the double doors and the gate shall never shut for you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord open doors for you. May the Lord open doors for you, my sister. May the Lord open doors for you, my brother. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord open doors for your ministry. In the name of Jesus, 
I call upon divine appointments in Jesus' mighty name. Our God opens doors. Our God opens gates. In the name of Jesus, may the gates of blessings open for you. For the Bible says that the Lord will throw open the gates of heaven and they'll pour to you a blessing that will be massive for you to contain. In the name of Jesus, this week I declare, open heavens, open heavens. In the name of Jesus, let the gates of heaven open for you. Let the gates of blessings open for you. Let the gates of favor open for you. Let the gates of nations open for you. In the name of Jesus, divine opportunities are opening for you. In the name of Jesus, this is your week. You are about to hold something that you've never held in your hands in the name of Jesus. Somebody, the Lord is saying, you're getting your own a, a, a key to your own house in the name of Jesus. You're getting your keys for your own car. You're owning something this week. In the name of Jesus, the blessing of the Lord maketh man rich. The Bible says it is coming to you. It is connecting with you. In the name of Jesus, this is your week of breakthrough. This is your week of breakthrough. The gates shall open for you, child of God. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord open for you. May the Lord open for you. May the Lord open for you. The Bible says even the double doors will open for you. The double doors will open for you. In Jesus' mighty name, child of God, double doors are opening for you. Double doors of nations are opening for you. Double doors of cities are opening for you. In the name of Jesus, you shall enter those gates. You shall enter those gates. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 24, verses 7, open you gates. Open all you gets. Open all you, you, you Asian doors that the children of God shall enter. I command every door that is before you that are taken long to open for you. It is opening for you, child of God. This is your season. This is your week. You are possessing that door. In the name of Jesus, by fire, you are entering. By fire, you are entering. You are holding that miracle. Opportunities are coming. Destiny helpers are coming. In the name of Jesus, this is your week of breakthrough. This is your week of breakthrough. Your name shall be called in the name of Jesus. These are the great days that the Bible talks about. That whenever you shall call upon the name of the Lord, when those days come, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. These are your days, child of God. These are your days, child of God. These are your days. You family that is praying together right now. You woman that is watching me that is praying with me right now. These are your days. These are your days of breakthrough through the lord is breaking for you like water the lord is breaking for you like water for the bible says the lord shall break through for you like water in the name of jesus father we welcome your presence this week father we welcome your presence this week may you go before us like the bible says that cyrus my anointed one i will go before you and open the double doors and the gates shall never shut you shut for you i pray in the name of jesus Jesus, you'll never be closed out. You'll never be closed out of opportunities. In the name of Jesus, those shall never close for you. In the name of Jesus, these are your days to conquer. These are your days of victory. You are breaking through. Your family is breaking through. Your business is breaking through. You are getting that contract. In the name of Jesus, these are your great days. These are your days of a testimony. You'll testify. Child of God, you are about to testify. Wherever you are, who you who is overseas, you will testify. In the name of Jesus, you will testify in the name of Jesus. You will testify in the name of Jesus. These are your days. These are your days. You will testify. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verses 9, that a great door has been opened for you. A great door has been opened for you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Somebody, this week a great door has been opened for you. Child of God, that family, your door has been opened for you. Your door has been opened for you. You will possess it in the name of Jesus. Who will, He who has opened it. He will take you there. He will take you there. You will get that opportunity. You will get that opportunity. In the name of Jesus, that check shall be signed for you. In the name of Jesus, that check shall be signed. In the name of Jesus, your papers will be given to you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Just clap those hands to Jesus, everybody. Clap those hands to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I believe this is my week personally. 
and I believe in the same spirit. It is your week. You're, 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 you're breaking through in the name of Jesus. You're about to get a miracle that you've never gotten in your life that will cause you to marvel and wonder at the goodness of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Right about now, our pastor is already here. And uh, okay, before our pastor, Sister Grace is going to continue in prayer, and then our pastor will come in in Jesus' name. possessing get we are possessing those and we are getting our keys in the mighty name of jesus i believe that by the end of this week somebody your life will not remain the same again just like we people who are here it is starting with us then it is coming out to you in the mighty name of jesus remember acts chapter 6 you've got to 16 you've got to learn how to discern just like uh, paul did upon that woman who was uh, the girl who was making money for the for the for the for her masters but then that door was shut it had to be shut and uh, the prophecy that we heard on monday worked for me so well uh, because uh, the, our pastor said that somebody, your master, the master, it's something that has been ruling over you. Your master has got to let go of you. And I believe that by the end of this week, something that has been in charge of your life is going to stop, will have stopped. And then Jesus is going to take over. God is going to take over. A new door is opening for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And we are in agreement with the prayer that Pastor Michael has made and everything that our pastor has been declaring even yesterday on Tuesday. And I believe that our lives are not going to remain the same again. I can't wait for what he has at heart today in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep sending in your testimonies and your prayer and your prayer requests. We shall be reading them and the Lord shall surely bless you. Let us pray together into the spiritual realms in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Pastor Michael. We are fasting today. The Lord spoke to me to ask all of us to fast every Wednesday until we, the Lord says stop. It is uh, not uh, for everybody, but it's for some of you that the Holy Spirit will talk to, to fast. If I were you, I would join in the fasting chain and we will see victory. Amen. I have a special prayer for people that have stood with me sending us money people I don't know personally, people all over the world thank you Amen. I may not know you but the Lord knows you Amen. he who sees in the secret will pay you in public Amen. so thank you for your generosity I'm not a good fundraiser I'm not good at asking money but I pray so much that God will touch someone to help us stay on air Amen. some of you have done it since day one the Lord knows you by name. Amen. He sees all your sacrifice Amen. and he won't let you down. Amen. Some of you have just started supporting. God bless you too. Amen. Some of you, you want to support but you don't have. Someday you will have. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. This anointing is not for nothing. It will do something. Hallelujah. To some of you, you don't, there is a group that doesn't even care May the Lord teach you to care. <laughs> Someone is like, ah, yeah, those guys will fix it. Be part of the fixers. Amen. May the Lord use you and send us something. So we stay on air, reaching out to God's children. Amen. Someone say amen. amen. The Lord spoke to me, I think it was Saturday night, Saturday, when I was still teaching about people change. And the Lord told me that next week, there was a statement that sounded like a song through the night that said, some gates must close, some gates should open. And this week, that's what's going to happen. Some gates, pastor, will close for good. The gates which the enemy has been using to kill you, to torment you, to 
to disfavor you, to reject you, it is closing this week. There's, there's someone watching me, you are in Nigeria, I think. God is telling me to tell you it's going to be okay from today. I don't know if this is your first time on this page, but the Lord showed me to you. So, in your Bible, in the book of Joshua, chapter 6, now the gates of Jericho were securely buried because of the Israelites. Oh, securely locked because of the children of God. No one went in, went out, and no one came in. Let's not rush. There are some gates people close against the children of God, Alex. When they heard that they were coming, so they locked them. They were not locked before. Now people are going in and going out. But when they heard, now remember, back in the day, the city, all the cities had a fortress or a strong, strong wall. Like what you see Trump wants to do, like build a wall, put a gate. So that's how most of the cities in the Bible days were built. So Jericho in this particular was that city. So they heard that the children of God are coming. So they locked the gates. Today, I come against any spirit that wants to lock you out. Those gates that the enemy is closing and yet they should be open for you. Let them open now. Yes, because the enemy can hear that someone is about to get married and he blocks that gate. They heard, the people in Jericho heard that the children of God were coming. I'm talking about three things. Life is about gates, keys, and doors. Now, in Jericho scenario, I want you to see they've locked the gates because they've heard the children of God were coming and they would need to, 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 to go through the city or to, to, sit, to enter the city. Same thing happened to Joseph's brothers. They said, there comes the dreamer. Let us kill him and see how his dreams will come to pass. In others, let's block, let's close the gate to his dreams. But I'm anointed to tell you that gate is opening by fire, by force. It means this is going to people who have to go through somewhere. Now I said, I'm not talking about physical gates. I'm talking about invisible spiritual gates. You can enter it spiritually. So they locked them out. They say they will not come in here. And guess what? Like in, in, the, in Monday's lesson of Silas and Paul, whoever locked the door kept the keys. Now Jericho is closed, but they have to go. I want you to see something about God. He never told them to stop because the city is closed. I don't know if I'm talking to someone. 
He never said, guys, stop. When Jesus says, we must go to the other side, there is no power can stop that can stop him. Some time back when our church was very young and, and it, I almost gave up. So I told Wilfred. Okay, how about we close the church? We had about five members or ten. Stupidly, I don't know what I was thinking. I said, then we can say, you go to this church, you go to this church, let's go and work. Because we even didn't have dinner. So I said, let's go and work. Then we'll come back and pick our sheep back from the churches we gave them to and start church. Because, man, what were we doing? We all needed help. So Pastor Alfred said, you, you mean Jesus can say, hey guys, I've gone to town. And then he comes back. And that's him, why didn't you go? He said, I, I liked transport. No, when Jesus sets off, gates must open. No power in hell can push him back. We can see how, oh God, help me preach. We can see how the demons put a gate. On a, on, a, on a sea, on a, a sea, a lake. Yeah, they put a lake. Uh, they put a gate. Look at it in, 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 Matthew, in Mark 5. This side, there is a man with a legion of demons. So Jesus says, Jesus is on the other side, on a boat. Then he says, let's go to the other side. You have to ask, what was the other side? The apostles didn't get that. So the, the boat started, sailed. All of a sudden, we see a storm that says you shall not cross to this side. So the demons put a gate. We see it later that these, the, demons, the, the, the demons that were sent into the pigs were the same demons that put a gate. So Jesus doesn't come. This week, Weekend. every power that put a gate for you not to be here, we are breaking the gate today. Every power that put a gate and said there will not be babies in your womb. In Jesus' name, we lower that gate. Every enemy that put a gate for Wilson not to get married, for Jane not to get married, for, for, so, for Mr. not to own a house, I rebuke, I break, I curse, I uproot that demonic gate. By faith you are breaking through. By faith you are breaking through. By faith you are breaking through. That's why every time you get resistance, giving up shouldn't be the number one thing you think about. I like children. Every time you tell them, don't touch that bottle. You've told them, touch the bottle. You, you, hey, don't touch that iron. Hey, don't. Some parents reach a level of saying, let him touch it. So he will know why we are stopping it. Otherwise, he will never stop. Somebody help me preach. So every time the enemy say, every time you see resistance, 
too much resistance. Poor apostles thought it was just the lake. No, the, before they said let's go, the lake was calm. The problem was when they said let's go. You ask people that have gotten married. Something will come up. Something will come up. Something will come up to stop the wedding. True or false? Because there is something that always says you won't go to the other side. That's why Jesus said, You lack this kind of stirring up is not normal. Ah, this fight is not normal. This is demonic. Jesus said, we are not turning back. We are going ahead. We are going to the other side. You are going to the other side. Oh, that wedding shall happen. That marriage shall happen. That baby shall be born. You shall I'll celebrate the next birthday and the next birthday and the next birthday and the next birthday the home office will obey you shall get those papers HIV will leave your body I said you shall graduate you shall get a good job in that family we resist every resistance oh you shall cross to number 50 you shall make you know there are some demons that say you will not make 50. You shall make 50. There are some demons that say you will never be a star. Tonight we say you will be a star. Jericho must break. Jericho must break. No matter how strong it is, it is breaking now. It is breaking now. He has the keys to that door that side Silas and Paul need what you are looking for is in God's hands. What the you are looking for, the key you are looking for is in God's hands. He says, behold, I've been given power on earth and above the earth. Whatever you release on earth shall be released in the heaven and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound tonight tonight where is life where is good health where is money where is pro 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 promotion where is favor you must get through that project who is locking you out who is blocking you out enter the city and the Bible says I shall be blessed in the country and in the city someone is watching me there is a business you've always wanted to do but there is a barrier that stops you it is breaking now it is breaking now it is breaking now it is breaking now write this for me demons can't stop Jesus Demons can't stop Jesus. They put a wall. The sons, the, I mean, the Jericho people put a wall. And they said, you will not go through. And God said, we are not turning back. We are not turning back. This church shall be ruled. Someone will be married. That business will work. Don't take resistance as 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 a what? Eh, actually, use resistance as your energy to walk ahead. Like a child, you should say, I wonder why Satan doesn't want me to get married. There is something there. I wonder why Jericho doesn't want me to go through. Here's something. I want you not to miss this week. The, the doors were locked. The prison was locked. 
Jericho was locked and the keys were kept secure <laughs> sometimes God would need keys he is the key amen come on give me this camera I said is the key he is the key he didn't need a key to go through Jericho. He said, just go around Jericho. Seven times. Is it seven times? And I wonder what people in Jericho say. What are they doing? They are, they, they are going around. Eh? Talk to me. Foolish people going around. <laughs> like someone who's looking at you, watching every lunch hour, watching every sermon, saying, What is he doing? Yeah. You think that by tuning on Wilson, you can be healed. The weapons of God are not the weapons of man. Oh, he can use a shout. He can use a rock. He can use a word. He can use anything. What Gideon used is not what David used. What Samson used is not what Nehemiah used. What Nehemiah used is not what Esther used. What Esther used is not what Gideon used. I don't know how he's going to do it. But he's going to do it. He's breaking that gate. He's breaking that curse. He's breaking that demon. Oh, tonight. Oh, I pray for your healing. Oteko funa mukisha. Oteko kuzala. Oteko kuona. Oteko wana kansi. Oteko gakawala. Oteko sumululwa. Oteko kuita wo. Oteko kuona. Oteko lebe chisa. Oteko linye nyoni. Epapulo jazi funa. Amagezo jaga funa. Oza kujadi funa. Obu wangu ziru wo. Oita muget. Tata wajata ita. Behold the Lord is
demons had put the same God he is the same yesterday today and tomorrow tonight whatever stops you from she to the door you want to open. Hallelujah. Actually, actually, he <laughs> he didn't need the doors and the walls. He, he just took them away. He lifted them. Threw them away like Samson. You can't block him with your gate. You can't scare him with a lion. For the Spirit of God was with him. From today, the curtain that had blocked them, it is breaking down now. Get ready for a breakthrough. Get ready for a financial breakthrough. Get ready for your visa. Get ready for your promotion. Get ready for your healing. We are breaking through the gates. In Jesus' name. Now let me pray for a special seed. Father, someone wants a financial breakthrough. Plant a seed now. And may the Lord do it for you. And the breakthrough for you in Jesus name nobody can stop Jesus Amen. no one can stop Jesus no one so financial breakthrough paying off debts debt cancellation some of you are going to hear people say I've forgiven you that debt some of you are going to receive money miraculously and pay that debt some of you are going to get things that money could not buy from today you are free from whatever was stopping you if Jericho could go down, let every wall go down. In Jesus' name. The numbers on the screen send you sit now and wait for a miracle. But above all, let's clap our hands to Jesus for the gates are being broken. In Jesus' name. And we all know that Jesus met the man with a legion of demons and he set him free. And the demons were thrown into the pigs and the pigs went into the sea. They tried to stop him but no one could stop Jesus. Someone shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Number two. Hallelujah. Number three. Hallelujah. Number four. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Do like this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah means God reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Send your seeds and wait for a breakthrough. You are going through gates. Some of you, you never, you've never gotten even any big kind of money. You are breaking through that money that gets and that your salary will increase or you'll get money you've never gotten in jesus name we are breaking through financially amen amen Laham Lynch says pastor pray for me to be healed from the chest pains that are bothering me touch your chest i speak healing from today in jesus name amen and when sandra says please pray for me that the people i demand my money shall pay it back the lord will do it soon sandra in jesus name Namuange Prosi says, Pastor, I'm fed up of spiritual husbands. Please pray for me. From today, Namuange, you are free from spiritual husbands. I declare that in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Shifa says, I need my husband to get a job. Please pray. May the Lord do it for your husband in Jesus' name. Get her opening and get her closing. <laughs> doors are opening and doors are closing. Some of the diseases we will never see again. Some of the curses you'll never see again. In Jesus' name. Mercy Marco says, Pastor, pray for my father. He's sick of diabetes and lots of other diseases. Oh, by faith I speak that your father will receive the miracle working power and be free in Jesus' name. Amen. Chisaji Harriet says, with this week is someone I want my mother to enter into gates of healing. In Jesus' name, let the gates open and let her be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. And imagine it says, Pastor, my sister Helen is sick and they can't find any sickness. And that is how all our relatives have been dying over the past year. Your sister will be special. That devil will not kill her like others. So sister, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Devil, you will lose her. We close the gates of death gates of death, gates of death, I close you in the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name. God bless you all. God bless you all. Enter into gates of breakthrough, into gates of testimonies, into gates of favor. Break every wall for us, Lord. Go before Silas and break the nations and make a way for somebody and let the gates open. And those that we are closing you out, they don't want you to be blessed. They don't want you to be promoted. They don't want you to be to be lifted. They don't want you to travel. They don't want you to be blessed. They don't want you to have children. From today, that demon will run and will be into thrown into the wilderness. Jesus cannot say, I have been one. No. He is the winner and this week, current anointing of victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Samu 